Hello, I'm Shivangi. I'm a PhD candidate in the public policy area at IIM Bangalore. The focus of my doctoral thesis is to study the structures of banking in rural areas and their poverty alleviation effects. In literature, a clear link has been established between economic growth and access to formal finance. The goal of my dissertation is to study this relationship in the context of unbanked rural areas in India. A large section of the Indian population continues to lack access to formal finance. Multiple policies have been instituted over the years to increase this access. However, their effects have been experienced to varied degrees. The first part of my thesis, I look at the growth of branches in different parts of the country. Here, I track the growth of branches of nationalized banks, private banks, as well as regional rural banks. The results indicate that regional rural banks have had a significant role in providing access to formal finance in unbanked rural areas. Now, with this understanding in place, I next move on to see the effects of having a branch in an area. There is evidence in the literature to suggest that banks with smaller corpus capital and a localized area of operations are more better, better able to service the credit needs of small informal enterprises. I look at the credit activities of regional rural banks versus the nationalized banks and my results suggest that regional rural banks which have a limited corpus capital and a localized area of operation have had a significant role in poverty alleviation for previously unbanked regions. Now banks with small corpus are better able to service the needs of small in informal enterprises for multiple reasons. One is because they have a small corpus capital, they are only able to service smaller loans. Second, because of a localized area of operation, they have a better understanding of the enterprises that they are interacting with and they are therefore are able to better identify the risks. The third part of my thesis pertains to understanding the agricultural requirements of a farmer during a cropping cycle. Most of the agricultural credit policies as well as agricultural credit instruments are designed with the idea in mind that the credit needs of a farmer would move in parallel with the agricultural season. However, this is a flawed understanding and for a farmer the cash flow cycle is much more complicated and does not necessarily coincide with the agricultural season. In the third paper, I go into the field to understand the cash flows of a farmer during the agricultural cycle and try and make sense of the results of my first two papers in the context of the lived experiences of a farmer.